everybody. Okay. Well, um, here's the uh, here's the boat. Now again, we're still working on it. Uh, I've added the black waterline stripe. I don't know how well you can pick that up with the camera there, but there it is. Across the stern. Anyway, that's a that's the hole in the paint. Um, well, the mast is obviously not secured yet. Let me just drop that back in there real quick. More or less where it goes. Um, right, so uh, I've begun to put the um, some of the furniture into the lower rear deck here. Uh, we have the um, flag post here. That goes roughly there. Uh, the winch is done. The water pump here. Um, two utility boxes. Now they're not installed yet. I've just kind of figured out where everything's going to go. Uh, the hatches. You can see here that if uh, the boat has three hatches added to the uh, three different deck areas. There's the forward hatch, mid hatch, and the stern hatch. And those are just done uh, by cutting um, from the pattern, cutting the two pieces of, uh, of styrene from the sheet. You just trace them onto the, onto the styrene and cut them out. Uh, the lower portion is solid and uh, roughly the shape of a sawed off guitar pick. And then the upper portion, which is the hatch looking portion and then just glue that to the top of the uh, lower piece and then uh, attach that assembly to the hole to the to the decking is how that's done pretty pretty quick and easy deal uh, I've secured the rear ra railings and they're painted um, the color to call out is for um, what do they call it uh, Hold on. I've got a good memory, it's just short. Spar. They call the color spar, S P A R, which is just really wood. So in Dumas instructions they just call for a camouflage tan. So that's what I've applied. Just a tan paint where it calls for the color spar. So that's why these are that color. The forward railings are supposed to be black, so I'll be using NATO black on that when I get those painted, stuck on. Um, I'm trying to come up with uh, acetate for the windows. I don't like the kit provided stuff. It's a little too thin and it's been in a roll for so long that it's curled. And trying to get that to lay flat while I'm cutting it and then trying to adhere that to the wood while it's trying to curl is just more than I want to deal with. So. I'm just looking for a suitable uh, packaging, uh, store packaging on something uh, that'll give me enough acetate that's flat and thick enough to uh, use as a replacement for that kit provided stuff. So I'm waiting on that. As soon as I get the windows in, I can kind of move on with the railings and put everything else on. I don't want to put the railings on before the windows and kind of impede access to that area. So. I'm gonna do that afterward. Right, so uh, anyway, this current uh, currentness of our build, current s status, I like to say in every video. Got the prop on there, onto the shaft. Um, so anyway, we're getting uh, we're getting along with the boat. We're getting uh, we're getting pretty far along in the build. A few other parts here yet to be. Uh, painted and laid on. Um, the rear engine exhaust stacks are to be cut from this material. There's a hauser screen that goes in between the two stacks and the anchor hangs upright from two crossbars that go across the top of that assembly. And that whole thing goes here. I still have to apply all of the bits and um, cleats to the upper deck. So yeah, there's, there's uh, still a lot of work to do. A little bit of rigging. There'll be some rigging having to do with the flagpole, uh, this flag post here, and with the mast support. 
Um, not a whole lot though, very minimal uh, rigging on this little utility boat. Uh, I like the configuration of this boat, it looks neat. Um, I did add one thing that's not part of the plan is this visor area over the forward windscreen. Um, having been in a few pilot houses, pilot boats and wheelhouses and that kind of thing, uh, not having a shade over that when that sun's beating down on all that plexiglass it can get pretty hot in there so I put a visor on it. <laughs> I don't know why I just I just thought it, I think it looks better it kind of matches the rear profile so I added that you don't you don't have to <laughs> yeah it may not be uh, authentic but I like I like the look of it so I put it on there uh, because this is a discontinued Dumas kit, they still make the utility boat, but they only make it in the large size now, the 30 inch boat. So, and I think that's why they discontinued this one. They just you know, make one and make it big, or at least bigger than this one. Um, I find that the 3 8 to 1 inch scale works out to about a 1 32nd scale, so it's a little smaller in scale than the trailer that I have, which is 1 24th. But I don't think that'll matter too much. I think it'll be close enough. And it's just, it's really just a way to have a, a display base that's a little different when I use the trailer for that. So I'm going to go ahead with that plan despite knowing the difference in scale. Like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. So, All right, so a little, a little bit of uh, work yet to do, uh, a little more cutting and shaping of blocks. Um, so we'll just continue doing progress reports uh, until the uh, until the work is done. Thanks for watching.